Hey guys, Eric here with my latest Cryptocarium Parcel Terror. And if you're checking out one of my videos for the first time and asking, Eric, what's a Cryptocarium Parcel of Terror? Well, the Cryptocarium Parcel of Terror is an awesome subscription service done by the extremely talented Jason McKittrick, where you can get magnets, wall plaques, crypto casts, which are these amazing, beautiful figures, which is the other awesome service that he does monthly. Um, magnets, wall plaques, uh, crypto casts, which actually, since I know already that this month is all um, themed around the very awesome uh, work brain. <laughs> Show off a couple previous ones of Bigfoot and the Mothman because we are talking why can't I think of the word? <laughs> Weird. Hold on. We are talking all about one of my favorite things, and that is cryptozoology. Thank you for the save, Jason. I can't believe I blinked on the term cryptozoology because I love cryptozoology. These are creatures that may or may not have existed over time. Bigfoot, like I said, Mothman. But the crypto. Welcome to the Cryptozoology edition of the Parcel of Terror, part two. I showed you part one, which is awesome. We had always planned to do more cryptid features, but with the great response we got from the first edition late last year, we decided another full box was in order. That has me very excited. Start with the print. Oh, actually. Start with the Cryptocarrion business card. Go check out all of Jason's awesome work. And we will start with this amazing per Oh! Oh, it's a Skunk Ape. Cool. Skunk Ape by Sam Heimer. That is really cool. I like that a lot, actually. Alright. Trying to see... Lollipop. Awesome. <laughs> oh, yes! Okay, we're gonna start with... Oh, this is cool. Let's start with the Jersey Devil. And he is the Cryptocast. For this month, I believe. Oh, you don't give any. Uh, it's probably in the probably in the letter. Information on the uh, Jersey Devil. He looks really awesome, though. I like that. Tiny bits of bloody detail. Always nice. Oh, that's really cool. Another crypto cast, and that is the Flatwoods Monster. Like I said, I know some of these, at least in passing. Definitely the Jersey Devil. And definitely the third one that I'm going to pull up. I know bits and pieces about the Flatwoods Monster, because I've seen the statues. Really love the head sculpt on this guy. That's so cool. Can't wait to see more of the, um, more of the coloration and differences that other people get. But of course I saved the last guy for the best and last. And that is Chubby, the Chupacaba. Goat sucker. Ah, oh, he's awesome. He is so cool. It's really, really cool. I'm I'm excited to see if he, if Jason jumped into the mythology of some of these guys. Always love the chupacabra though. That is that's definitely my favorite piece out of these three. 
All right, let's jump into the Flatwoods Monster. One of the stranger cryptids to be reported in the last century, the Flatwoods Monster has been explained to be everything ranging from an alien lizard man in a metal suit to a mechanical rocket-powered robot being tested by the government. Sighted in Flatwoods, West Virginia in 1952 by a mother and a group of young boys. I love the 1950s sci-fi look of this creature. I do too. <laughs> Got the skunk ape print, print uh, from Florida. The skunk ape is from Florida. Good. If you are a dual subscriber to both the Price of Terror and CryptoCast, an exclusive Jersey Devil CryptoCast figure will be included in the box as well. That is awesome. And then, of course, we have the El Chupacabra. First reported in Puerto Rico in the early 90s. Really? I thought he was much older than the 90s. El Chupacabra, or the Goat Sucker, got its name from its penchant for draining the blood from goats and other livestock. This creature has become a cultural phenomenon that has widespread sightings and encounters all over Latin America. Oh, that is gorgeous. So there are four different variant colorways of this figure. So I can't wait to see the pictures of the other colorways. Though if there's a green one, I'm going to fight someone. I'll trade them for the green one. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry, I'm I'm reading. So Jason included a um, pin of the um, I have him somewhere. The pin, pin, I can talk. A pin of the um, Flatwoods monster in the first edition of. You can go back and check out my video too. I want. I know I have the pin somewhere. I'm not sure. I'm not sure off the top of my head where I put him. I have to put these guys next to Bigfoot and Mothman, as I showed you before. But thanks as always for watching, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Really looking forward to the Halloween edition next month. Uh, very excited for that, actually. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you later. Bye.